Somebody commented on my last video asking if I could uh, recommend some books, and that's what I'm here to do. I'm going to allow this video to be a bit longer than usual because I really want to have time to elaborate why I'm recommending um, some of these books. So several people asked me for recommendations for works pertaining to philosophical stuff, like epistemology, metaphysics, things like that, and I want to start there. So in my opinion, the must-have book for somebody completely new to philosophy and apologetics but is trying to catch up is this book by William Lane Craig and J.P. Moreland, which is called Philosophical Foundations for a Christian Worldview. This version that I have here is a copy of the first edition that I purchased in high school. Uh, they've recently published a second edition that is a bit more up-to-date on a few areas and has a few new chapters. This book covers all the major areas of philosophy and provides information to the major themes present in those areas. So, for instance, it has a section on logic and argumentation, a section on epistemology, a section on metaphysics, uh, philosophy of science, ethics, philosophy of religion, so on and so forth. And what's important to know with books like this is that they're not necessarily meant to be read from cover to cover. They're more like textbooks. So um, if you want to know some arguments for the existence of God, you can flip to the chapters later in the book that deal with that and read that section. And then if later you hear me reference something about epistemology and you're like, I don't know what that is, you can flip back to the sections on epistemology and read that. Um, I bought this book in high school and I continue, to use, I continue to use it as a point of reference throughout my undergraduate degree in philosophy and later in my graduate degree in theological studies. It's just that good. Like, it's just been kind of a constant companion to me. Um, the authors are William Lane Craig and J.P. Moreland, Mo, Moreland, both of whom are Christian philosophers who have done a lot of work in philosophy and apologetics. They're both top-notch scholars and that really shows in this. Um, this book is academic in nature, but it's not so technical that you need prior understanding to make use of it. Again, like I bought this in high school, so how you know if, if it worked for me then, how bad could it be? Um, and this type of book is something you maybe might see like used in a college introduction to philosophy class. So that's kind of maybe the level it's at. But now suppose you said to me, James, I'm interested in like apologetics or arguments for the existence of God or arguments for the historicity of Jesus, but I really need something that's like for the everyman, it's not going to be super academic in nature. Like, I need it brief. I need, you know, something precise. Like, what's something really accessible? For this, I would recommend um, William Lane Craig's book On Guard. This book was specifically written by Craig to be accessible to the everyday churchgoer. So he's taking a lot of his academic work and he's making it really accessible to the everyday man. Um, it's still rigorous. It's still um, informative. It's just not going to be quite as kind of into the technical jargon as something like philosophical foundations for a Christian worldview might be. Um, and this other book, On Guard, I actually still reference on occasion too. Um, so it's, it's pretty good. Uh, so what about books about the Bible or textual criticism? Here it gets a little tricky because these are very broad fields and it depends on what you want to get into. When I did my master's degree, we used an introductory text on exegesis that I wasn't super fond of. And I later wanted to find something that I could recommend when people ask me for, you know, like, how do you get into that? And the recommendation I think I settled on was a book by Gordon Fee called How to Read the Bible for All It's Worth. Um, Gordon Fee is a very prominent biblical scholar. He's written a number of commentaries, and this book is designed to be an introduction to those who are interested in studying the Bible with a more kind of academic mindset. Um, I think it has some really good information, and there are a lot of areas where he'll point you to other resources. So, for instance, um, he briefly talks about textual criticism, but he says, listen, this isn't an introduction to textual criticism book. If you want that, you know, go check out these other works and things like that. Um, so I think that that's a, a pretty good um, place to go. Now, I actually want to uh, kind of conclude this video by suggesting that if you're just getting into these topics, don't feel pressured to go out and buy a lot of books. Um, one of the great things about the times we are living in is that you can go online and find YouTube videos or podcasts by scholars and get a lot of the same information pre uh, presented in their books for free. And for myself, I actually learn a lot better from videos and audio stuff than I do from reading. I only resort to reading books on these topics when I need to go more in depth than what videos allow. So for instance, uh, Craig Keener is an extremely prominent New Testament scholar. He's written a ton of commentaries, including a four-volume work on the book of Acts and a two-volume work on the book of John. And guess what? He has a YouTube channel with a bunch of lectures on it. He has like a 19-part lecture series just on the book of Matthew. He has a long lecture series on the book of Romans. Um, 
take advantage of that. You know, for most people, there really is not a huge need to get a massive commentary when um, these, you know, 20 hour lecture series will probably give you a lot of the information you need. Um, there are a lot of YouTube videos interviewing Craig Evans, who is a New Testament scholar and textual critic that contains a lot of great information. There's also videos of him doing debates with people like Bart Ehrman. I recently bought one of Craig Evans' books after I heard him kind of um, talking about it in a, in a video um, interview. Um, Mike Lacona, who is a New Testament scholar, has a YouTube channel and podca uh, podcast. Uh, I think his podcast is called The Risen Jesus Podcast, if you, um, you know, Google that. Like I said, he has a YouTube channel. William Lane Craig has an entire website called reasonablefaith.org that has a lot of uh, lectures and debates and both popular and scholarly level um, written works by him. And if you go to that website and you work through the Defenders podcast series that he has there uh, for free, you'd have a theological education that is on par with most seminary graduates, if not better. Um, so I'll just end this video here and encourage people to leave comments on recommendations that they have or if there are other video ideas that they would like me to cover.